Rajpul sir, am I audible sir? Yes sir. Okay, thanks sir.
Hello. Hello. Yeah, Dr. Dinesh. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Join. Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, good afternoon, uh, sir. Uh, yeah, Dr. Sir, Dinesh, uh, can you allow me to share the screen? Yeah, just uh, please bit, sir, so that sir, I will, uh, I would like to introduce you first, then I will, sir, uh, proceed for that, bit, please. Fine. I am stop, yeah, sir, just I am stopping my screen sharing. So, good afternoon to all present here. And, uh, the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sagar Institute of Research and Technology, Bhopal, Sage Group welcomes you all in the second day of International Faculty Development Program on Innovative and Entrepreneurial Ecosystem in Engineering for Post-COVID-19 Pandemic. And our today's speaker is Dr. Raman Gujral, will talk on the topic Creative Value Through Entrepreneurship and Innovation. But before going to welcome, just I would like to share a video and which is uh, showing about the progress of our sales group. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. Uh, so, welcome yes. you all again. Yeah. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, today's speaker is Dr. Raman Gujral, sir. And uh, I want to give you the brief introduction of our sir. And he is professor and director, Department of Projects, Corporates, and regional director, Southern Regional Office, Bangalore. Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India. His academic qualification is PhD in Commerce from SSS UTMS MP. About his areas of specialization in business opportunity identification and guidance, project report preparation, market research linking SSGS with micro enterprise activities, threats of successful entrepreneurs, working capital management in micro enterprises, CSR and social entrepreneurship, courses taught and projects handled by Dr. Raman sir. So course about courses taught, sustainable livelihood and micro enterprise development and management, business opportunity identification and guidance, business plan preparation, about projects handled by Dr. Raman sir in science and technology, entrepreneurship development, ST projects, DST, Government of India, micro entrepreneurship development program, SIDBI, skill development training through science and technology, STST, DST, Government of India, science tech entrepreneur, monthly e magazine, DST, GUI, FIKI. Skill development projects is to succeed Accenture India. World on Bills project, Hewlett Packard HP India. Dr. Gujral has over 30 years of experience in the field of entrepreneurship development. He has expertise in the new enterprise creation and in extending support to the existing entrepreneurs. He has also developed curriculum modules and structures for various entrepreneurship development activities specializes in the areas of business opportunities identification and guidance project report preparation entrepreneurship worked on various entrepreneurship development models through csr initiatives of corporates like facebook accenture walmart hp and itc in india he has also handled the task of networking and catalyzing vital linkages. He has widely traveled for entrepreneurship related assignments to places such as Laos, PDR, Iran, Philippines, Comoros, and Malaysia. So, just I have given this is the brief introduction of uh, Dr. Gujal, sir. And this is the brief introduction, and uh, sir is having a lot of experience in this field. So, now I would like to invite Dr. Gujral sir on the on this platform so that we can be benefited about uh, such experience and uh, I hope and I expect that all the audience will uh, listen and get the knowledge be benefited from the knowledge of our respected sir. So again I welcome Dr. Gujral sir uh, to give his presentation on the talk. Uh, creating uh, through uh, creating through innovation and entrepreneurship please sir you are welcome sir thank please you doctor unmute yourself. yeah thank you dr dinesh my apology uh, i am i'm audible properly is it okay yeah sure you yes, are fully audible sir. so really my regards to the chancellor of sage university and the chairperson of sage university uh, Sri Sanjeev Agrawalji and uh, the whole team who is highly motivated and they are working uh, for the purpose uh, developing faculty in the field of entrepreneurship development. Mm, I thanks uh, Dr. Koli is a big planner. I think more than a month back he fixed this date 28 July and I agree for that and um, a lot of meetings going on left right just I switched over from one meeting to other but uh, i tell you once you take the commitment from somebody in that case uh, the person who is uh, whether who is an entrepreneur or a professor uh, definitely will not say no to you so this is a good learning for both of us that if i have given some commitment i have given my words that i will be there 
then I have to say no, unless until it is too much of urgent. So thank you very much for uh, joining us, all the participants. They all are very learned, experienced uh, faculty members from various engineering colleges and various uh, technology fields. So sure, I, I'll try to explain you how can uh, our students can uh, gain the niche over the other students by understanding entrepreneurial way and behavior into their day-to-day -day life. So I hope you might be viewing this uh, slide. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, So, this is basically, we can say that how can a student can create value through entrepreneurship and innovation. So, entrepreneurship is one thing where we are talking about uh, you are a businessman or you are a businesswoman, business boy and girl. But innovator is a scientist, innovator is a professor, innovator is anybody who is doing innovations on the day-to-day -day basis. How we are thinking that this both match is required in the field of uh, creating value within yourself. Yourself means being a faculty or your students, how you are going to transfer this thing to your students. So I'll say that, that entrepreneurs are uh, more innovator uh, rather than scientists, I can say. Scientists is doing more work um, in the lab but from lab to commerce or lab to business, that is a, the real entrepreneur who brings the uh, technology to the masses. And there he or she does the changes in the technology also, which is suitable to the uh, community. Whatever technology is suitable in United States of America, it is not suitable in India. But how they make uh, a little change into that kind of a product line or service, that matters a lot. So all those things uh, are required if you are entrepreneurial by behavior or by your nature. So if I go, yeah, let me, if I ask that who is an entrepreneur, Definitely, we may get some uh, 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 definitions that someone who organizes a business venture and assumes the risk for it, yes, he is an entrepreneur person. Even you are an entrepreneur in faculty, if you are taking some decisions, you are taking some new initiatives, then also I can say you are an entrepreneur. And even someone who assumes the financial risk of initiation, if you initiate something, you do something, some expenditure you have to do. You have to do the operations work, you have to do the management and you have to do the business also. So all those things are uh, together required to be an entrepreneur person. Even if, we, if you are working in a factory and the production line uh, in the mechanical engineering or in automobile engineering, everything is set. But if you make some uh, innovation in the supply line, then also I can say you are entrepreneurial engineer. Even you are not getting a profit out of that, but you are getting salary for that. So all those things matter a lot. <coughs> so if we see that who are the entrepreneurs, let's talk about these boys who are IIT passed out very well. Um, placed in a big corporate company, getting handsome salaries, but why they decided to start selling the books online through website. And in 2007, it's not a history, it's a recent uh, 2000 uh, story. And uh, 2007, they just started selling the books online. And uh, after that, they ended up selling almost everything uh, whichever you used to uh, buy from the uh, physical stores in the mall or in the market, whether it's an ironing press or it's a uh, food item, it's a non-food item, clothes, garments, whatever, shoes, all those things they started selling. 
So when we talk about Sachin and Vini Bansal, it doesn't mean that and they want to say that it doesn't mean that you should just start your business or venture or enterprising behavior after passing the college. No, even after passing the college, if your behavior is entrepreneurial, definitely after four to five years of working, when you have enough funds, you can innovate in your business line. And that is why these boys started hardly with four lakh rupees of investment and uh, they went into a unicorn company and then they said they don't count your customer before they smile so unless until your customers are happy your clients are happy and even if you are an entrepreneurial professor if your boss is happy with you you are successful but if you are uh, your boss is not happy then how can you be a successful professor so that is the company's mantra everybody's mantra they keep everybody happy and satisfy everybody's needs and it is not like paying, uh, offering a good cup of tea or coffee to your boss, then only he or she will be happy. It is what innovative you are doing, what kind of work you are doing, all those things matter. So same way these boys started with a very small amount, 4 lakh rupees, starting selling the books. And they used to stand in, in front of a bookstore, uh, like uh, there is a variety book house in Bhopal. Similarly, in Bangalore, there is a Gangaram bookstore. And they used to handle handed over the um, bookmarks to the customers who used to come to buy uh, physical store books in that bookstore. And they used to say, sir, next time while you are coming here directly online, we will give you 15% discount also because they have nothing to pay for the uh, bookstore uh, rental for per month because they are online and directly they are getting books from the uh, uh, publisher. So all those things uh, are very important. You cannot think that you can uh, be a successful person only if you are um, big person. You can start from a very small and that is why when the two states book launched uh, by Chetan Bhagat, these two IIT juniors, they were sitting there, they attended that function and they were politely saying to the Chetan Bhagat, sir, you don't know who we are, but we know who you are. And uh, we also sell uh, books on online ebook platform. And please uh, give permission that we can sell your books also online. So don't leave any corner of your uh, business to grow. Always go each and every place. Then only you will get success. If you keep on sitting uh, in your room, then success will not come. Then business will not grow. You have to travel, you have to meet people, you have to talk to people, then only you may be a successful business person. And that is why from six, four lakh rupees with five persons working with them means two plus three, only a two BHK flat in uh, 2009. And, uh, and slowly, slowly they grew into a hundred people company with three offices. And for the first 10 days, they did not get any sale. So don't get uh disturb if you are not getting good returns in the initial stage but if you are working hard your motive is uh, purposeful definitely you will uh, get success and that is why sachin bansal from handing bookmarks to handling a multi-billion dollar company earlier they were only handing over the bookmarks to the uh, customers but today they are handling a multi-billion company and uh, today this company they have sold and it has been given to Walmart, but uh, what kind of efforts they have done to create? They purchased Mitra in the year 2014. They work with uh, Dabba Wala uh, so that along with Dabba, they can also supply the uh, items to them because uh, whenever Dabba goes and the same person has ordered something, so along with Dabba, this Dabba Wala will supply. So two persons are not required for two delivery. One person can deliver two items. So all these things are. Uh, very important and they keep on acquiring various companies and that is the reason they become the one of the biggest and largest e-commerce company uh, in the uh, India which is a big market and that is why a big uh, global brand uh, requested or chased them and they sold their uh, flip card to them. So all these things we can say are very important if you are uh, thinking about the, the stories of these kind of entrepreneurs. There are so many 
such kind of startups which are not too much of uh, financially rich boys and girls starting so if even your students are not very rich but their ideas are good definitely you can motivate them to uh, start their business like paytm uh, was started by uh, vijay shankar sharma who is from very middle class family and he started working with the media house and all all those places he was employed and from there he started uh, paytm before paytm he had many other businesses but he could not succeed but uh, when the demonetization came that day onwards paytm everybody got to know because uh, next day you were you were not having cash in your pockets and uh, big notes were uh, strong and that is the reason everybody wanted to go online transaction and paytm got the maximum benefit out of that policybazaar.com it gives you more uh, commission rather than commission is going to the agents uh, insurance agents and so they pass on that commission to you directly because the companies are uh, giving commissions to uh, agents so directly you can choose which policy you have to uh choose which is best policy which is low price policy and all that so these are a low investment but technology based uh applications technology based uh, products which are available grofers has different model they are directly procuring the grocery items uh aata dal chawal everything from various sources from the big sources and directly giving to the customer at the lowest price because you you have to spend too much on your physical store uh, if you have a big physical store in a new market or in a arera colony market definitely 2 lakh 3 lakh per month is your fixed cost means rent cost and that that you have to charge from the customer but they are get after getting order they directly uh, source the product from their warehouse which is not a big shop in a big market it may be in and the remote state area and the boy and girl go and pick the grocery then swiggy is a common model where uh, uh, you get the food items ready at your uh, place uh, and cure fit is a new new model where uh, you are not getting time for your exercise good food healthy food so they provide everything even at your workplace or even they might come to the colleges also or the universities also where boys and girls can do gymming they can get the support from a good food healthy food which kind of protein diet is required so if 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 the corporates are ready to pay definitely these employees can uh, hire the services of your fit of ola model everybody knows about ola so it uh, doesn't own any car but they are the, the car aggregator so what i am trying to explain you that all these business doesn't need lakhs crores of money it needs innovative idea and based on innovation you can grow the uh, business and i am not saying that all boys should start ola but even if boy starts join join ola company as an employee as a manager then he has to think about bhavi satwal who is the owner of ola because if he or she is not thinking like ola then he cannot work with the ola for over the years because this company need uh, your uh, heart and soul into the business you cannot sit like in an tata company or tcs there they have thousands of employees so even one employee is not working then also they hardly get affected but these companies are 20 employees 30 employees 40 employees and all employees are contributing too much and that is the real growth of the student when they join these kind of company i have many cases where the good iit and i am boys and girls have not joined tcs they have not joined exchanger they have not joined ibm also but they joined sula you now you can say how the sula company it's a wine company something but he is telling that i was working with the uh, uh, deloitte or some ey and there i was not getting too much of opportunity to take my initiative or decision but in this small company i i get lot of uh, freedom to do and i have i i, I am on live wire but uh, this is the way i can learn so the the system is changing don't look for that if you join bhcl then only your life is secure no boys and girls are not looking forward to join bhcl they are looking to join 
some kind of a company who is supplying uh, parts to BHCL, there they will learn more rather than in BHCL. So all these things matter. Big Basket is another example with low investment. Zomato with low investment. Phone Pay is a, you can say, little different than uh, Paytm, but yeah, almost similar online payment gateway. Pharmacy is a uh, uh, company which provides uh, medicines on low cost at your home. And similarly, MedLife has come and other companies have also come. So they are also providing all these kind of medicine service. And these two companies at the last is Baiju. It is a big success. Two times he got selected in IIM but refused to join IIM. And today he has uh, more than 200 times wealth. Even if he would have joined as a CEO of any company in I after joining IIM. So don't think that if I am 90% or 99% and topper of the company and I am getting a good placement, rather than if, if your thoughts are big, if your uh, dreams are big, then in that case, uh, these companies maybe give, maybe give you some salary, a good salary, but you cannot uh, convert your dreams into reality. You have example of uh, Sri Sanjeev Kumar, Sanjeev Atrawal, who is the chairman of sales group uh, he passed uh, his civil engineering from uh, MSCD now it is managed and uh, he did not join the company only for the initial uh, eight to ten months I remember he he was in Bombay he was working somewhere rather he was he used to say to me that he was doing some internship kind of thing in, in, in uh, architectural design and drawing after that time uh, was the only eight months or ten months after that he came back and he started uh, working with his brother uh, for two to three years four years and then they started and they, after that there is no backing but if he joined some company then i think he could not uh, convert his dreams into reality so all these ideas and these beliefs if you are an entrepreneur or if you are working with an entrepreneur, definitely you can innovate and you can have better ideas. Similarly, these Bhavi Sakrawal and Ankit Party, those who started uh, Ola, uh, they are not from a family who are a transporters or something. Rather, Agrawal, Bhavi Sakrawal's um, family was too much against him. And they used to, their parents used to say and their relatives used to say that taxi chalane ka kaam kar raha hai, ti, padne ke baad. Now you can imagine what kind of mindset uh, people are having in the community. They don't like that taxi wala is a good boy, he studied so hard, he's a meritorious student, everything. But he didn't thought and he, he gave big dent to Uber also because Uber is still small, uh, smaller than Ola. Uber may be big in United States and other countries, but in India still he is the big person and why uh, he started and what he has added i'm talking about innovation one is the better services good look no negotiation and easy to book now good look means this is the yellow one is the old uh, calcutta taxis and now you get in ola uh, good cars uh, swift desire or something air conditions working and all that no negotiation uh, if the uh, if the driver will come at your home, then he will not say, sir, uh, one hour back I told you 2,000 rupees, but now I will charge 3,000. Whatever will come after you travel. After you travel, then the bill will come and you have to pay according to that. So no negotiation before sitting. Then easy to book. You can book through your mobile. It is easy to book. Otherwise, you used to go to the taxi stand and then you look for whether the taxi is available or not if he is ready or he is not ready now it is not like that whoever is ready will come whoever is not ready he has to switch off his uh, availability so you will not get that person and along with that they innovated so many varieties of ola like ola micro ola share if you cannot spend too much you can share with somebody else ola mini ola prime Ola Auto, Ola Luxury, Ola Outstation and Ola Shuttle. Shuttle means every day it will come and we will pick you and then we will drop you at your uh, college and in the evening same time the, uh, the same vehicle will come or other vehicle will come and drop you. 
So now you see that so many of variety of services they have uh, for you. So these all things matters. You start a company, but you don't innovate. In that case, you fail. But if you keep on innovating your business business idea, in that case, you can uh, grow. And that is why they have the legal rate, cheaper rate, discount and offer in different situations. Sometimes they charge more also. That they say the search price. At the four o'clock, a lot of companies need many cars. That time, Bangalore, they hike the price. But sometimes, on the if you if you book before uh, three, definitely you will get lesser price. So all those things. That is why in Bangalore, corporate techies they have uh, rescheduled their uh, commuting time. They say we will start working from eight, but we will leave at three. So companies are ready because they get good car, good services at that time. So all those things uh, are. Uh, valuable so that is why mm, i can say that entrepreneurs are driven not by the need to make money but by the need to make their dreams a reality the money will come paisa to aayega but uh, you you can achieve your dreams if you are entrepreneur or entrepreneurial employee both way i am adding i am not saying that entrepreneur is only for those who who invest and you who runs the business even within the college within the company you can be an entrepreneurial employee of uh, your company definitely you will get some benefits not even every time your salary will be double but the owner or the ceo will give you more benefits uh, by either he will give you car or he will give flexible working time or he will give you you can go early or uh, something like that so because they they see the potential in you and when you have potential definitely you will get that benefits so all those things matter and that is why i can uh, share the example of google it is the most innovative company and when you say that the company is innovative then you see that how the company treats the employees also that also matters because company is only a google is g but this g is because of the employees who are working there so if the employees are innovative then you can say the company is innovative if the if the sage is innovative it is because of sage uh, employees are innovative one person cannot innovate so that is why earlier they were only internet search engine but before uh, google also they were internet explorer or i i think some other search engines were also there and we, we used to uh, uh, um, go through those search engines and why we stopped Uh, mozzarella or some other search engine because we get maximum information through this search engine and that is the reason we switched to this search engine but it was not the only company then rapid and phenomenal success because of too much innovative uh, products within google uh, itself then uh, it's a search engine it's a web portal it's a Uh, i can say um, interactive maps discussion forums comparison translation you keep on adding image library online shopping google pay is not there or now there so there are so many things in google which you can uh, say that this is the most innovative company but i can again say that this is not because of uh only one person this is through acquisition and strategic alliances with other companies and other uh, innovations if any of your student is innovative and his product is very good definitely google would like to buy that that product or that app or that tool which they can modify and they can use it use it for their global interface so all those boys and girls should be ready to at least approach google for their product presentation of their product so there that is why it is known as innovative company because constantly develops and introduce new services to the market then establish internal web pages for tracking new ideas and corporate culture promotes creativity and innovation this last line is very important they work like a true corporate they give lot of freedom to the employees and because of that freedom all these uh, products are in market whether it is google chrome or um, uh, drive or maps or other tools which you can say 
So that is why it's more than 100 billion Google search monthly, 100 billion. Then there, there are, because of Google, there are more than 111 billion dollar um, business and more than 1.5 million businesses are doing economic activities because of Google. It is not only Google is uh, doing it, but because of that, more than 1.5 million businesses are because of this company. More than 109 languages is now being supported by Google. I doubt any other search engine is giving this much of like uh, freedom. Even five years back, Google has acquired over 200 companies, Motorola Mobility and YouTube also is not their own, but it has been purchased uh, by paying 1650 and you can keep on adding the zeros, this much of money, Picasa and all that they all are uh, purchased or acquired from somebody else. I am talking within one minute, 300 plus hours of video will be uploaded to YouTube. Is you, Google is not uploading, it is you are uploading, your students are uploading, your, your family members are uploading and that is what the information which uh, keeps on growing and that is the good model that every time you go to the YouTube, you find the new thing uh, to learn and uh, it's uh, more than 75% of the US search market, search engine market is with Google and India also, uh, Google is the highest search engine market and more than 500 million monthly uh, active user use the translation version of Google. And you see that this is the real workplace of Google where they foster and enable uh, innovations. If you give the environment to the students so that they can learn the way they want to learn in discipline, then I think uh, they can uh, give you better Results and that is why they treat their employees also whenever they want to work late hours, early hours, they can work. They can sit uh, the way they want to sit, whether in a uh, sofa sitting kind of meetings or it can be individual or it can be any other place where you want to read books, novels or whatever it is. And uh, if you don't want to work, then you can have some, you relax for some time. So these all global strategies, local implementation, everything is possible if you give all such kind of uh, sufficient. And then if you want to work, then they say our benchmarks are enabling highest efficiency with ultimate creativity. So this is very important thing. If you give ultimate creativity, definitely you will get highest efficiency. And uh, mechanical engineering efficiency is also there. But this is efficiency of a person, how much efficient he or she, if you, if you give 8 hours, somebody in post office, whatever efficiency is 200 uh, stamp selling or 200 letter stamping, that is all. But if you give 8 hours, somebody in Google, he may do business of 20 crore or 30 crore in 8 hours. So that kind of efficiency they are looking for, they can give you good product also. Even they give you nanopods where employees can work and sleep. If you want to work, you 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 sit here, you work. All connections, laptop, etc. etc. Power is there. But after working one hour, two hour concentration, you want to relax for some time. You close it and then you can relax for some time. So all these things where employees can work and sleep too. And sometimes they promote you also take a metro nap. Based on that, you can be fresh and you can give more product. So these all the Google innovations are there. Uh, people are working along with that. They are eating also. So they are not worried that when the lunch break will be there because they don't work like that model that lunch break should be. So there is nothing is a time machine kind of thing. It is over to you. End of the day, you have to give the output. That was also so. So these all the Google innovation. He has laptop. But he is not keep keeping laptop on his lap. She is keeping on her lap, but he is keeping on her chest or breast somewhere like that. But this lady is sitting in uh, this place and uh, working differently. So these all are Google innovations. Food is good. Then uh, work is also good. So it all you 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 give the freedom, you get the more output. So that's why all these products, whether it is 
गूगल क्रोम पे और वेब सर्च और गूगल मैप्स और ई मेल जी मेल भी कैन से और गूगल प्लस ट्राइव हैंग आउट प्ले स्टोर ट्रांसलेट बुक गूगल टीम्स ऑल्सो हैज कम गूगल अर्थ so all these are the different products which are within the google and these all have been created by somebody and even gmail if you go every time you will find there is some innovation in that so all those things are uh, cloud platform calendar docs maps youtube all those products are very innovative and they keep on innovating so i can say that entrepreneurs are participants not observers they they participate in each and every activity they are not observer they are players they play 2020 they play test match they play one day or they football match but they are not the fan who used to sit uh, in the stadium and that is why to be an entrepreneur is to be an optimistic positive uh, ashawadi and to believe that with the right amount of time and money you can do anything so i can say for the your student if you are optimistic you are participant you are player and you are giving right amount of time to your uh, innovation or your uh, product definitely money will come to you and that is why this person jack ma who is the owner of alibaba one of the richest person uh, there in in china also is a very good person who go in good business he say that today is cruel maybe today you cannot get success tomorrow may be more crueler because you have invested some time or you have invested some money but the day after tomorrow the third day is beautiful so you have to pass these two days without passing these two day you cannot come to the third day and this is part of your life this is part of your uh, growth also first year second year first 10 year first 15 years are cruel crueler but after that you get but if you 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 don't pass with this cruel and cruelty then you cannot become a beautiful you cannot see the beautiful inside and that is why i started very small but to, today he has a, such a big company and you know that he started with hardly three uh, workers so he started with only 18 initial workers and after that you know that even jack ma is was not good into maths also and um, he could not get good college good place and even the kfc kind of company did not uh, gave him job and he was just doing some coaching classes as an english teacher for dollar 15 per month and uh, after that he reached around one of the top 25 richest per richest person in the world so uh, this says that you should not be a good engineer or a good doctor or good lawyer or very high percentage marks owner uh, then only you can become a successful businessman because earlier we saw sachin bansal penny bansal of flipkart or ola they all are our iitians but here this is non iitian also as uh, given you Uh, his uh, potential 25 richest person in the world so uh, education hardly matters both way it may it may not but your entrepreneurial mindset is more important to be a successful uh, uh, entrepreneurial person and that's why creativity is very important uh, skill for me an innovation because uh, creativity is your thought what is what is inside your mind innovation is action whatever you do that is innovation and whatever you think that is creativity so creativity is thinking up new things and innovation is doing the new things but you cannot do the new things if you are not thinking the new things so both are interrelated if you are creative person definitely innovation will come and if you are a non creative person innovation will not come so it is basically innovation is in uh, involves thinking differently creatively insightfully enable solution inventions new things that have an impact on social or economic value with all these matters 
and sometimes innovation is fulfills unmet needs not met by conventional products processes institutional forms something like that you have heard uh, about jugar jugar technology so these those who do jugar technology they are not too much educated but they somehow fulfills the unmet need of the society and then they create some product which is being used by lakhs and thousand of people so it is moving beyond r and d to mean new application of novel technology some technologies their engine is there but how to use that engine press flying press is there but how use is into a new process and structure all this comes under innovation innovation doesn't mean that you have to go and bring some new technology no you can use the old technology but make it a different way so that is why it can be a product innovation it can be a service innovation or it can be a process innovation also so your students can do anywhere product innovation means if any product is available in the market how you can change the product like uh, this is a coffee cup and after uh, drinking your coffee you can eat the coffee cup as a biscuit also so this is uh, a little innovation little harder uh, mass uh, into this particular uh product uh, and it is not like ice cream cone but it is better harder than that and after finishing your tea you can have your biscuit also innovation in service uh, that um, um you you cannot take this inside but there is a take away service also so they allow everybody to come and take the uh, pizza or burger from the store so this is innovation in service and that is why i can say you should spot the need where is the need then only act for innovation solution also spot the solution of the need then do the market research trend following and then definitely you will get the best product in the uh, your area like this person is a prajapati from gujarat and he created a mitti cool this is a refrigerator for without electricity and in this uh, fridge uh, made from special clay and it has three chambers one is for water this this is water and because of this water it coolness remains and you get cool drinking water and it doesn't require any and the vegetables can be good for at least 5 to 6 days because of this uh, 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 this kind of uh, clay or mitti so after that he created this kind of uh, cool drinking water then cool uh, jug and then this cool refrigerator and it is on he is on discovery so he is a simple kumhar or simple uh, less educated potter but uh, you see that what kind of innovation has created and everybody is buying his product with this so that is what top says that innovation distinguished between a leader and a follower if you are innovative definitely you will be a leader but if you are not a innovator then you will be a follower every day you will be following uh, i have to buy a apple phone apple phone or apple watch but if you create apple watch that take me you will be a steep job so a lot of uh, research has been done and uh, there are various companies who are known for their innovative and if you see that apple is the most innovative company google is number 2 i already talked about and 3 3m is another company which is known for its innovative uh, uh, product line samsung is number 4 then microsoft is there toyota png ibm and amazon so you can see this this is a mechanical engineering company toyota automobile and this uh, Samsung is also mechanical and because they they used to make all those kind of bike goods and all that so it's not only uh, that the the companies those who are on online platform they are Apple is also a production company but Google is only online but 3M is also a production company IBM Microsoft is computers uh, company but you can say 50 50 so if you want to be innovative in uh, automobile or any company definitely you have to be a uh, more innovative entrepreneur and that is why um, very rare entrepreneur 
are real, truly novel and innovative ideas. Rest 96% only do the enhancement of the product, means they give you the cheaper version and all that, or they do some extensions to the features, or they do some kind of specialization. What does I mean this thing? Uh, in an enhancement means this is the previous product, they change the product, that is enhancement. Extension means Earlier, this was the product. They added one more feature to that product. That is enhancement. And specialization is the product is for uh, umbrella, but they make the umbrella for ladies. Then it is specialization. So all those things are uh, differently. I can say that is the uh, these kind of clever persons. Their frugal innovation uh, is very important like this uh, very cheap uh, pure drinking water machine has been developed by Tata as a Tata Swatch uh, Smart. Earlier it was a frugal innovation, but now it has been adopted by a company. So that is uh, very much important. And I can say, um, uh, Jugaad can be uh, referred as a very crude word, but it is basically a frugal engineering where the improvisational innovation or jugaad driven by scare resources and customer needs. So you have to do something disruptive in sectors such as health, education, housing, and you can create such kind of product. But when you show some jugaad product, everybody says, oh, it is very simple, I can do it. But who thought first that is the uh, real person? So it is uh, for jugaad innovation, you have to keep it simple, uh, do more with less, think and act flexibly, then seek opportunity in diversity and include the margin of your uh, product, then I think you can be a successful innovator. So it is not a new thing in Brazil, China, everywhere they talk about Jogar, that is frugal engineering. And this is the real Jogar in India, which came and which has been identified by everybody that how this uh, work, this is a motorcycle and it has this backside, this has been attached, so it can carry uh, passengers or it carry the load also. And whenever it is not used, sometimes they, well, they make it uh, again such kind of arrangement so that it can be used as a motorcycle also. But this is a real jugaad. But the person who has done is not a mechanical engineer, he is the only innovator. If I can show you more such kind of example, definitely you will learn that this is not a child's play. This is how to make a pizza if you have limited resources. So uh, ironing press and a uh, dryer, air dryer. So this can make both way you can do or how you can use the uh, hot water getting. This is not in India. This is in Taiwan, Bangkok, sorry. So in Bangkok, uh, last few years back, there was a huge flood and due to the floods, uh, all the roads were water waterlogged and uh, nobody can drive the auto rickshaw or any automobile because of the water was entering into the engine. And what this illiterate person has done, he has increased the size of the uh, height of the shock ups and with, with that, this has become. And it is written there also. This is a newspaper. Bar me chalta hai tuk tuk. Rajdhani Bangkok me akarshan ka kendra bana. Iske driver ne bade bade shock up laga hai. Taki iske engine me paani na bhuj jai. And this is what I am saying. When I was discussing with the mechanical engineering students. They said sir we will make better arrangement. Whenever we push some button, definitely it will increase the height of the vehicle and whenever it is not required, it will go back to the same height. Maybe technically in coming future, you may get such kind of automobile, but somebody who thought this was the real innovator, I can say. Now, how to reduce less road load or weight on your shoulder so that your head is also not touching the with this kind of load. And uh, this is almost balancing the load. And this is a belt. So even there is no need to hold. Even if you have small kid with you, then you can hold the kid and the very risk of uh, chances. So this is very lightweight, made up of cane, bamboo. 
and uh, this has been uh, developed by national institute of design students so i am saying that sometimes students design and sometimes some illiterate also design something so innovation is not only with illiterate or so jugad is not only with the illiterate it can be with the literates also and this is where there is a lot of electricity failure in hilly area or those areas so this is uh, iron earlier we used to put coal now they are using gas so the same model of old iron now people are using and this is not a model for lab people are using it and he has a different uh, bigger uh, this gas cylinder and this is in up people are using it this is a slicing machine for ice cream candy kulfi cake candy and agarbatti candy and uh, you just put it and maximum slice you will get this is a coffee making machine uh, so steam how to get the steam and how to stabilize the steam moderator this is how to pump water how to earn money by charging so many of mobiles in bihar due to uh, this uh flood and all that electricity is a big problem power cuts are there so people need mobile charging and he charge 10 to 15 rupees for half charge and 30 rupees for full charge solar uh, light how is using uh, washing machine high level of creativity so all those things are there how to use the air conditioner how to use all these things so i have many things to discuss but i can say that if you are creative then in that case uh, you can have lot of uh, chance to get success but if you are less creative definitely you will keep on doing uh, the similar things similar activities uh, again and again and you cannot get success so this is all from my side if any questions are there then it's okay so thank you very much for your wonderful talk uh, because sir you have covered starting from the sachin and binni and then uh, flip card then you have given sir a lot of examples uh, of the google then uh, Uh, also the different ola apps uh, and then the different innovations have been done and uh, actually it is the creations and uh, this creations uh, inculcates and inspires others also for the development uh, of either in the form of the product uh, maybe in the service etc so sir in a very excellent manner sir you have uh, i think uh, and discussed about each and every point and cleared the concept also so actually sir we are very lucky to hear you because uh, i think i was not considering because sir you are too busy person and uh, how you have uh, find uh, give us time we are lucky sir because you have given the time very very uh, heartful thanks to you from our side now uh, from audience uh, if anyone ask question to sir please unmute yourself and ask question to sir directly. sir may i sir yes sure yes yes a wonderful sir excellent presentation it's very wonderful very informative and very innovative uh, i will be very thankful if you can uh, share these slides wonderful sir excellent very motivating thank you anyone more who was who is a uh, interested to ask question is there any complexity regarding patent uh see the uh patent is not a big problem if if you are not too much copying as it is definitely you have to follow certain norms like i have explained the model of prajapati that mitti cool now if you are using the same kind of uh, clay and you are making similar kind of model then yes it is patented but uh, based on that particular clay 
if some more innovative product or some more innovative idea can be used which is not refrigerator or not a cooling space then i think patent is not a big challenge so that is why how you innovate with the innovation that is also uh, a good way because a lot of apps are coming and these apps are all together different than the other apps then also they they don't go under the patent uh, issues because they they change the platform they change the technology they change the software that is the reason uh, with this products also you can uh, do but my one uh, request that uh, being uh, i am also a academician so being academicians we quickly go for patenting mm, i have so many patented product lying here and there but no buyer is there see this is a uh, uh, toothbrush and uh, this is a toothbrush it is auto patented but the model which is having a swivel kind of movement round 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 so what you okay. do like this it do this also so here a pivot is there some uh, some mechanism is there uh, this side sure okay but the problem is yes, he sir. got patented but he is not in a position to uh, get the market and i am sure that uh because of such kind of protocols get stuck to not getting the big market this is another patented product but uh, what he did he launched the product and his machines are patented and uh, this is a coconut leaf uh straw leaf okay. straw this is not plastic this is not plastic and this is patented and uh, so what he is doing he is giving his machines and technology to everybody and he is he is not bothered that even if somebody will uh, copy his product he is telling that uh, maximum let it go with maximum people so i think we should give it to community and then uh, you, we should start thinking of some other product this is my my thought like i am not a uh, it means Uh, being a academician, uh, we are earning good. Our name should be there, but let other people copy it. Okay, thank you, sir. I have one question to you. Hello, I have one question to you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my question is this, sir. Why do people fear technology innovations? Why do people fear? technological innovations why they have such fear that see technological innovation takes time actually and uh, it needs certain protocol also to be followed but earlier question was come came that is why we go for patent because it sometimes you have to spend time you have to spend money and you have to follow a lot of protocols that why people uh, go away from technological innovations but still nowadays the aict and uh, government of india mhrd and all that they are uh, promoting uh, more and more professors and teachers to go for uh, technological innovation they are giving a lot of support funding support and lot of department of science and technology government of india is also giving uh, technology business incubator support for the students for the faculty also so there is a huge support is available so now you are not going to spend on your you have to spend some of your time definitely after 4 o'clock or sometime you have to do because this innovation is done by a professor of english at christ university bangalore he is a english professor and he is doing mechanical engineering related uh, this thing because rolling the leaves and all that so you can do cross uh, in domain you are from electrical engineering you can do in mechanical you are from mechanical you do in some other but technology innovation needs lot of uh, time money and uh, energy so that is where people uh, shy away but government is supporting now so you can come forward hello hello sir any more question please Yes, sir. Please tell me. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. 
so the session was excellent and we have really learned a lot from your session and uh, actually sir my question is that uh, like israel israel is the one one country which, which is a more innovative country and uh, most of the innovation is done in the israel uh, even the, uh, our usb usb uh, is uh, developed by developed in the israel so in india in present time we have a strong leadership in this time so such kind of facility we have where we are uh, supporting to the uh, to the young minds so you you take the money and you develop a such innovative product so because i am asking you because you you are associated with the innovative and entrepreneurs institute so is there is any such kind of facilities which support which is support to the student yes facilities are there israel is number 2 in startups globally so after us and uh, india is also coming back but israel is uh, almost uh, a small lesser than a state of any uh, indian uh, and it's a very big country and uh, uh, it has lot of uh, problems also not only political problems but uh, climatic water drink water many issues but still uh, i i can tell you that wherever the problem there only innovation comes so but this jugar team because of some problem that is why this jugar uh, auto came into the market but um, industry innovation council has been created by aicd iic and they are also now supporting all aicd supported institutions for uh, this kind of uh, innovation so i'll share the details of the head of that aicd iic cell with uh, dr dinesh koliji and uh, he will share with details and definitely the openings are there yes our population and number of colleges and number of uh, boys and girls are all together different in south india they are different in north india they are different so that creates problem for us um, we are uh, maybe 100 try equal to geography so that is our problem but uh, government is open and they are looking to that also thank you so much sir thank you so can i call the day now session please we want to yes sir uh, because uh, the other the session sir so uh, from our group or institute side sir uh, please accept sir our uh, uh, certificate of appreciation for your talk and uh, devoting time to us just i am sharing you the screen then sir we can also email the certificate to you for certificate please sir accept it as a token of love from our institute side signed by prashant he is my good friend so no problem i will take it accept it thank you yeah, thank you so much sir and uh, sir once uh, when i was uh, with you then uh, i have passed the message to our cmd sir also and uh, then sir uh, this is sir uh, very uh, informative session excellent and uh, wonderful talk thank you thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you ma'am thank you everybody last thing i want to say sir because we are the teachers uh, working for the institute and uh, this time the covid pandemic so sir uh, just i want your last message that uh, what step we should follow or we should do so that we can inculcate inculcate the tendency in our student towards the innovation and entrepreneurship but sir just one or two sentences you can give us the message please um and the question is not clear uh, during covid yes yeah, sir actually sir we are all the faculty members and uh, we are uh, dealing with the students uh, for their uh, growing up uh, for their uh, uh, enhancement for their technological development so i want sir what should be your message to us so that uh, we can inculcate inculcate the thinking or the tendency in our students towards the innovation and entrepreneurship what should we do in that direction see we, for innovation and uh, creativity it cannot be taught it can be so if we give them too much of practicing during our lab it, one lab is for uh, teaching but beyond teaching if we give them lab support so i will definitely talk to the management also that give students two hours every day 
and one lab technician can be there and then students can do lot of innovations whether they are hostlers or they are coming by their own bike or car then they can sit after the class class is over and there the real innovation should be done and then they should do innovation for the nearby poor people because these kind of frugal innovations are required uh, uh, once they should give these kind of small small products small small kind of uh, this thing uh, recently i was in uh, koval patti national engineering college that is uh, near madurai and there the boys and girls are dedicatedly mechanical engineering boys and girls are dedicatedly doing that how to break the coconut now it's a very simple thing or even they have a sensor based technology where they can put the coconut inside that particular mold and then they get that this coconut is rating a plus a b how much dry how much wet how much water and all that earlier we used to do like this so now for 10000 coconut you cannot do like this so you keep on passing through that sensor so what i am saying the student should be motivated to uh, create innovative machines small machines which can be used by the poor people and then poor will give back to the, our economy so during the covid also i can say the villages are very less uh, vulnerable less uh, uh, covid positive rather than bombay delhi bangalore hyderabad pune or big cities indore or something like that so um, um, in the, the the rural villages are safe rural villages people are doing they are ready to work and um, we need our students to provide such small small innovation 5000 3000 machine and let them give it to them and let them get it fabricated locally also so if this you can do definitely students uh, mind will grow and then when they will go to the company they will apply this technology for a bigger product also thank you thanks thanks a lot sir for giving time and uh, guidance to us and uh, in future we will also be in connection with you sir then we will uh, need uh, some definitely sir you will uh, again make you in contact and we'll get help from you thanks a lot sir thank you uh, thank you so much sir uh, for giving us time and uh, at last uh, for the participant who have joined and uh, for their patience listening i also uh, give them thanks for the patience listening and giving their time and uh, so in this day we are uh, going to end this session and uh, tomorrow we will meet with uh, mr sarveer sandhu and from the significant uh, lp solutions chandigarh india so with this we are going to end up this session uh, thank you so much thanks. bye so you be safe and uh, okay be safe thank you so much thank you sir thank you सर स्लाइड्स देख लीजिएगा अगर आज की मिल जाती है तो शेयर कर दीजिएगा या श्योर श्योर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वंडरफुल सेशन सर या थैंक यू सो मच सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एंड अप दिस सेशन नाउ वी विल मीट टुमारो एट द सेम टाइम 3 पीएम ओके ठीक है सर ठीक है ठीक है बाय बाय ठीक है ठीक है शर्मा भी करेगी तो बहुत बहुत